As the Nintendo Switch marks its seventh anniversary, the gaming community is abuzz with speculation, rumors, and a trickle of leaks about its highly anticipated successor. Dubbed the Switch Two Inches for convenience, Nintendo's next foray into the console market is tightly under wraps, but that hasn't stopped eager fans and industry insiders from piecing together a comprehensive preview. So in today's episode, let's check out what could potentially be the next big thing in gaming. What's new for Nintendo? First off, let's clear the air about the name. Calling it Switch 2 might be a bit of a misnomer. Nintendo, with its penchant for the unexpected, rarely follows a numerical naming convention. Remember the leap from DS to 3DS with a few iterations in between? So, while the internet rallies for a name as grand as the Super Nintendo Switch, let's stick with Switch 2 for now, keeping in mind that Nintendo might surprise us with something entirely out of left field. Now, going deeper into the meat of the matter, what can we really expect from Nintendo's next console? If history and Nintendo's track record are anything to go by, predicting their next move is akin to guessing the next twist in a well-written thriller, you might see the signs, but the outcome can still leave you gobsmacked. Nintendo's innovation engine has previously churned out devices that defied expectations, from dual-screen handhelds to motion-controlled gaming that had us flailing in our living rooms. Their creativity knows no bounds, which leaves us both excited and slightly befuddled about what the Switch 2 inches might bring to the table. The Switch itself was a revelation, merging the portability of a handheld device with the power and prestige of a home console. Its success was monumental, reshaping the landscape of gaming and setting a new standard for versatility. With over 132 million units sold, outpacing even the PS4, it's hard to imagine Nintendo steering too far from this hybrid formula that has proven to be a gold mine. According to industry analyst Dr. Sirkin Toto, we might not be looking at a complete overhaul, but rather an iteration of the existing Switch, equipped with a few bells and whistles to keep things fresh and exciting. And let's talk about those bells and whistles for a moment. Rumors suggest sticking to the hybrid model is a given, especially as competitors look to Nintendo's playbook to capture a slice of that versatile gaming magic. But it's the screen size that's been catching my eye lately. Leaks point to an 8-inch LCD screen being sourced from SharpCorp, a noticeable jump from the Switch's current 6.2-inch and the OLED model's 7-inch screens. This could mean more immersive gameplay and a richer visual experience, keeping in line with Nintendo's tradition of gradual, meaningful improvements. As for surprises, well, it's Nintendo. The company thrives on delivering the unexpected, crafting gaming experiences that often come left of field, but hit right at home. While we might not see a console that operates exclusively underwater, or one that demands a degree of origami to unfold, the possibility of Nintendo throwing a curveball our way remains as likely as ever. Their history of innovation, paired with a strategic silence that builds anticipation, suggests that whatever the Switch 2 inches turns out to be, it will aim to captivate and surprise in true Nintendo fashion. What specs are we expecting? Word on the street and by street, I mean the hallowed halls of Gamescom and the digital pages of VGC, is that the Switch 2 is shaping up to be a bit of a tech marvel. We're talking about a console that's flirting with the visual prowess of giants like the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Yes, you heard that right. The Switch 2 could be bringing us some eye-watering, jaw-dropping graphics thanks to a little magic called ray tracing and the muscle-to-run Unreal Engine 5. For the uninitiated, ray tracing is like the fairy godmother of lighting effects, making everything look more real and Unreal Engine 5 is the latest hotshot in game development engines, promising the kind of graphics that make you do a double take. Now, for the demo that had everyone buzzing, an enhanced Breath of the Wild and The Matrix Awakens. These weren't just any demos, they were showcases of what the Switch 2 might handle. And if the rumors are true, we're in for a treat. The secret sauce? NVIDIA's DLSS upscaling, which in non-geek speak means making games look stunningly sharp and detailed without the console breaking a sweat. But here's where it gets interesting. Despite the high-tech bravado, some whispers suggest the Switch 2's guts might actually be more in line with the PS4 than the latest console generation. Sounds a bit underwhelming? Well, not quite. See, it's not just about raw power. Nintendo's always been about pulling rabbits out of hats with what they've got. 
Remember, the original Switch wasn't a heavyweight, but it still managed to throw some knockout punches in the gaming arena. Digging into the dev side of things, the Switch 2 is already stirring up excitement among game creators. Dev kits, those special versions of consoles that let developers work their magic, are reportedly out in the wild. And with 8% of devs surveyed at GDC 2024 saying they're working on Switch 2 games, it's clear Nintendo's aiming for a buffet of gaming goodness from day one. But what about the screen and how we'll play these gorgeous games? Well, insiders are betting on a standard LCD display, keeping things crisp and colorful. And yes, the beloved cartridges are sticking around, blending nostalgia with modern gaming in a way only Nintendo can. As for storage, let's just say the Switch 2 won't be challenging the PlayStation Slim's terabyte SSD. Expect something more modest, likely in the 128 GB to 256 GB range, but with SD card support for those of us who like to hoard games. So, what's the bottom line here? The Switch 2 is shaping up to be a fascinating mix of past-gen familiarity and next-gen innovation. It's about enhancing what we love about the Switch while pushing into new territories of gaming experiences. Nintendo's not just keeping up, they're looking to redefine the game, proving once again that it's not just the size of the processor that counts, but how you use it. With DLSS, Unreal Engine 5 capability, and a solid lineup of games in the works, the Switch 2 might just be the next big thing in gaming, blending portability with power in a way only Nintendo can. Coming to the big question now, whether Switch 2 will have the same OS as the last one. Well, think of it this way. We are pretty hooked on the digital ecosystem, especially with our smartphones and tablets. We're always jumping to the latest model, and honestly, having the same OS each time we upgrade is a sweet deal. It just makes life easier. You sign in on your new device and bam, everything's right where you left it familiar and ready to roll. So hitting up that train of thought, wouldn't it be slick if Nintendo did the same thing for the Switch 2? Like imagine if they kept the OS consistent with the current Switch. It'd mean Nintendo only has to keep one OS on the up and up and both consoles would snag the same cool system features. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments. Big Shot Games will get to play. First up, let's talk about a game that's been more elusive than finding a shiny Pokemon on your first try. Metroid Prime 4. This title is like the Loch Ness Monster of Nintendo's world, often discussed but rarely seen. Given its mysterious absence from release schedules and Nintendo's radio silence, speculation's been rife that Metroid Prime 4 could very well be a flagship title for the Switch 2. Nintendo has a history of launching consoles with a bang, and what better way to do so than with a beloved franchise? It wouldn't be the first time they've done a cross-gen release, and it makes all the sense in the world to debut the Switch 2 with a game that's been baking in the development oven for so long. But wait, there's more. Mario Kart and 3D Super Mario games have been conspicuously absent from new releases for quite some time. The last all-new Mario Kart we got was over nine years ago, which is practically a century in gaming years. Given the success of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch, it's not hard to see why Nintendo's been content to ride that wave. However, a new console presents the perfect excuse for Mario Kart 9 to drift into our lives, and let's not forget about our mustachioed friend Mario in a brand new 3D adventure. Super Mario Odyssey was a gem on the Switch, and the anticipation for a new 3D Mario game is sky high. The Switch 2 launching with either or both of these titles would be like Christmas in March. On the tech side of things, an enhanced Breath of the Wild demo showcased at Gamescom got tongues wagging, but not for the reasons you might think. While it was just a demo, the real buzz was about the Switch 2's ability to flex its muscles with enhanced backwards compatibility and Unreal Engine 5 support. This opens up a world of possibilities for next-gen games and visually stunning experiences that could rival other platforms. Imagine a PS5-quality Final Fantasy VII remake or the rhythm-infused mayhem of Hi-Fi Rush making their way to the Switch 2. That's right, Unreal Engine 5 could be the golden ticket that brings a slew of third-party UE5-powered games to Nintendo's next console. And let's not overlook the whispers about Persona 6 potentially gracing the Switch, too alongside its console brethren. 
The Persona series has a dedicated following, and having the next mainline entry available on the Switch 2 would be a significant coup for Nintendo. A survey of game developers also threw some interesting numbers into the mix. Out of 3,000 devs polled, a sizable chunk is already working on projects for the Switch 2, with many expressing a keen interest in developing for the platform. This is a strong indicator that the Switch 2 is poised to be a hotbed for innovation and creativity, drawing in developers eager to tap into its capabilities. So, as we await official confirmations and eagerly anticipate the Switch 2's arrival, one thing's for sure, the gaming landscape is about to get a whole lot more exciting. Whether you're a die-hard Nintendo fan or just a lover of gaming in general, the potential games lineup for the Switch 2 has something to pique everyone's interest. Let's gear up for an epic next chapter in the world of gaming. The Switch 2 Scoop, Backwards Compatibility, Physical Media, and Power Play. First up, the million dollar question, will the Switch 2 play nice with your current stash of Switch games? The short answer is, maybe. Nintendo's been a bit coy, dropping hints like breadcrumbs but no full loaf just yet. They've mentioned wanting to bring Switch users over to the new platform with their Nintendo accounts, which sounds promising for digital libraries at least. Physical game fans, you've got a reason to be hopeful too, as Nintendo's history leans towards not leaving old games in the dust. But there are technical mountains to climb, and until we know more about the chip powering the Switch 2, let's file this under fingers crossed. Now, on to the eternal debate of digital versus physical media. In an era where digital downloads are king, could Nintendo go all in on digital for the Switch 2? Seems unlikely. Reports are pretty confident that we'll see a cartridge slot on the new console, nodding to both a continuation of the beloved Switch form factor and a big hint that yes, backward compatibility is more than just a pipe dream. Plus, let's be real, Nintendo and physical media go way back. It's a relationship that's not ending anytime soon. All right now, let's talk power. Early chatter pegged the Switch 2's performance around the Gen 8 platform's level, think PS4, Xbox One, which had some folks raising eyebrows. But don't underestimate Nintendo's knack for wizardry. Demos like an enhanced Breath of the Wild and The Matrix Awakens running with Unreal Engine 5 and ray tracing hint at a console that's punching way above its weight class, thanks to some clever tech tricks like Nvidia's DLSS upscaling. This AI-powered wizardry means we could be looking at a console that delivers stunning visuals without needing the raw power of a PS5 or Xbox Series X. One slight hiccup in the next-gen fantasy is the switch back to an LCD screen from the OLED model we have come to adore. A bit of a bummer, sure, but likely a move to keep the price tag from soaring into the stratosphere. What do we know about the release date and expected price? Make sure to sit comfortably because we are starting with a lowdown on something that's been tickling everyone's curiosity antennas. Rumor has it, we're looking at a March 2025 release. Yep, you heard that right. After a good deal of detective work and piecing together clues from the gaming world's version of a treasure map, it looks like Nintendo's next big thing is set to make its grand entrance in spring 2025. Now, before we get too carried away planning our launch day outfits, Let's talk about why this whole March 2025 thing is still a bit of a pencil-it-in situation. Our friends over at the Japanese newspaper Nikkei have been doing some sleuthing and brought to light that while Nintendo's got its eyes on March, there's a bit of wiggle room. Why? Because, dear gamers, the gaming gods are fickle, and making sure everything's just perfect takes time. One of the main reasons behind this timing tango is Nintendo's mission to avoid a repeat of the PlayStation 5 launch saga. Remember the shortages and the scalpers? Yeah, Nintendo's keen on not letting that happen with the Switch 2. They're looking to have enough units ready to go so everyone can get their hands on one without having to pledge their firstborn to a scalper. But here's the deal. If the game lineup isn't ready to roll, or if there's a hiccup in getting enough units out of the factory and into our eager hands, that March 2025 date could slide back even further. It's a bit of a tightrope walk, balancing getting things just right with not keeping us waiting too long. What's super interesting is that all this chit-chat about the Switch 2 isn't just about when it's dropping, but also what it's bringing to the party. Reports are hinting at a hybrid portable device that's keeping the spirit of the original Switch alive, but with a bit of an upgrade, like a bigger screen. 
because let's face it, bigger often does mean better when it comes to gaming. Initially, the Grapevine had the Switch 2 making its debut in the latter half of 2024, but it looks like Nintendo decided to give it a bit more time in the oven. This aligns with some earlier whispers from various corners of the internet, including some insights from Brazilian games journalist Pedro Henrique Ludi Lippe and additional confirmations from Eurogamer and VGC. This shift to a later launch date also meshes with what Nintendo president Shintaro Furukawa mentioned in an interview back in October 2023. He talked about keeping the focus on the original Switch until the end of the current fiscal year in March 2024 and then continuing to support it with new titles. This transition from focus to support gives us a hint that the new console could be coming in the next fiscal year, hence the March 2025 window. All right, so let's pivot to the golden question on every gamer's mind. How much cash are we gonna have to shell out for the Nintendo Switch 2? Well, folks, put those speculation goggles aside because we've got some digits to discuss. Dr. Sir Kentoto, the bigwig analyst and the brain behind Cantan Games out of Tokyo, has thrown a number into the ring, and it's one that's got us all reaching for our calculators and maybe our piggy banks. According to Dr. Toto, the Nintendo Switch 2 is looking to hit the shelves with a price tag of $400. Yep, you heard that right, 400 big ones. Now, before you start flipping couch cushions for spare change, Let's talk about what this means for us, the eager gamers. First off, $400 is not exactly pocket change, but it's also not entirely unexpected. Considering the original Switch debuted at $299 back in 2017, and taking into account inflation, tech advancements, and the promise of a beefier gaming experience, hello, larger screen and possibly more power under the hood, the price point does make a certain kind of sense. We're talking about a console that's set to redefine portable gaming yet again, so a slight bump in the entry fee isn't too outlandish. It is of no surprise that we all are eager for what Nintendo's cooking up next. This upcoming console, although under the wraps, hints at sticking to what made the Switch a hit, but with a few tweaks to keep us hooked. Can't wait to see what surprise they've got in store for us next. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment on what you think this console might have that is bound to take gamers by surprise. Keep watching Retro Pocket and we will see you in the next video.